Hey everyone, how are all you guys doing today? I hope you guys are all doing well. This is Arcane and we are back with some more of The Last of Us multiplayer here on the dam. And before we do start the commentary, I would first like to apologize for a couple of things. First one is the game starts a little bit late. And the reason for that is because I was trying to take a picture of the scoreboards for a certain reason, which we'll get into later. And I think for that reason, when I clicked the share button at the end, it um, started from that point. So it cut out the first bit. So sorry for that. And the second thing, I did have my mic on in this game. And I think the PS4 recorded that audio. So it might be picking up a little bit of that as well. So I'll lower that down. But if that's in the background, I do apologize for that because um, I was ranting and raving a little bit. I don't know why, but we'll get into that. But yeah, let's start the commentary. So first off, I want to say this game I had, it was um, at the time of the Naughty Dog bad servers, should I say, about a month ago, when the servers just went messed up. Everybody was talking about it. It was really hard to get a game. Um, it was hard to get a game. It was taking ages to get one. And actually, whenever I got one, I'd actually get kicked out from it as well. This isn't the first time it's actually happened to me playing The Last of Us. So I'm not going to complain too much about that because um, I've been playing the game since PS3 and it's never been like that. So, well, the PS3 got like that towards the end. I don't know if this multiplayer is towards the end like the PS3 time or not, but I've never really had that bad experience with it until then. And now it's fine anyway, now it's gone back to normal, so I'm not going to complain too much about that. But what actually happened in the set of games I had was the matchmaking. The matchmaking was absolute crazy. Um, It put lower levels together and the higher levels together and some other games who had it was that I was with the um, really good players and the, the lower levels were on their own and the lower levels weren't like people who've been playing before I think they were actually lower levels they were pretty they were all right they weren't full whack no but you could just tell by some of the moves they were doing that they were actually lower levels and it wasn't really fair and this game for me it was a really really bad game all the way around because I was um, with some of the lower levels why the other team had really good players and one or two of them I think had mics on as well because I was teamed up with them later on and I always have my mic on um, So they knew what they were doing on top of that I was going for the boxes and the boxes weren't giving me anything as well So it was a really frustrating match But it ends up in a one versus ten um Last man standing comeback, which I want to get into now. First, I want to explain myself a, a little bit um, about my playstyle a little bit as well, because um, I've been getting a lot of hate mail recently. I just wanted to explain myself. What, how I play a lot of the time is, first of all, I don't really have any use for the parts. I don't know why I don't use them. Just the way I play, I don't need to use the parts. Sometimes I upgrade, but a lot of the time they don't. I just like to save them. And the reason why I don't, and the reason why I do like to save them is in case I get into situations like this where I can switch to my last man standing loadout. Now, my last man standing loadout does involve the shotgun. Now, before you hit the dislike button, let me explain myself. I don't know why I've been getting a lot, a lot of hate mail on the shotgun for a start. Because the reason why is because I only use it in situations like this, what you're seeing now. I don't run around in a normal, I mean, a normal lobby, but in like at the start of a lobby, as soon as I can upgrade my button, get the shotgun, start gunning everybody down. I don't do that because I know it spoils and ruins the game. When it gets to a situation like this, I think it is fully 100% fair to use the shotgun. It's one versus how many, and if you can't take one guy down with a shotgun when there's a gazillion of you, then I'm sorry, but that is your fault. Like I said, during the game, okay, different thing, but in a last man standing situation like this, but still, I will receive hate mail for using the shotgun, and it's really violent, aggressive hate mail, which oh, nobody likes that sort of stuff, to be quite honest with you. Um, but yeah, this and then, so this comeback I have, it involves the shotgun. Personally, it's my best comeback to date. Um, actually, right here, what you're going to see in the video, um, heart 
car target he actually pulls out his own shotgun so he's pulling out his shotgun once he sees me use it and that's fine i'm not going to complain about that you can players can do what they like and uh so yeah this is like i said this is one of my best comebacks i've ever had actually one versus i think is it 10 i think that's how you figure it out a little bit about comebacks because i know the community whenever they see a comeback in the title now they're like no i'm not clicking the video because they've had enough of it um, personally, I don't know why people have had enough of comebacks. I do. I have heard recently that it depends on what kind of comeback it is because um, a lot of people are doing these setup comebacks, which I have never even heard of, to be honest with you. I've seen it on um, some of the community pages and forums. That people are like, hey, do you want to do comebacks? I don't know how that works. I don't know how you set up a comeback unless it's organized with the other party, unless it's private. But um, another reason why people don't like the comebacks is the the certain player in the random lobby, he will ignore his teammates and go off and just set himself up, which I agree and I disagree with. I don't, I don't say I fully go off and leave everyone to die so I can be the last guy because um, obviously that's stupid. But I will um. In some situations, if I see there's like one or two I was left and I know if I go out there, I'm going to die anyway. Whereas I can get a box and maybe survive, try to survive a bit more, then I will do that. And I think that's fair as well. I don't know what other people's opinion is on that. But, yeah. What the hell is going on here? I'm getting fired. I don't, even, I don't even know how I'm surviving now. Here, I was helping my team out as much as possible, but then I did spawn in a, a bit behind, so I just went to the boxes and try set myself up. And I'm getting a lot of stuff now. So at the moment, I brought it down to one versus three, and um, we're in a good position here. I did want to mention something about comebacks yeah well, i wanted to say like comebacks in general i mean even if you did the reason why i was saying it's all right even if you did set it up yourself the reason for that is if you can come back if you've got the confidence to come back from a comeback anyway i think that is awesome and i will be always um watching people's comebacks i think they're really entertaining even, even the ones that are set up they're quite entertaining but the ones that people really do come back from i'm like i'm i really love them i like to see them really come back from it something i've always been interested to watch um so what are we doing here we have taken this guy down and it's now one versus three um, I have got a lot of blue pots all over the place, but I do want to try pick them up, otherwise I lose them. And I do really, really need to heal myself here. Um, I don't know why I'm not healing myself. Um, but I, do I have a health kit? Yeah, yeah, I've got two health kits. I don't know why. So one tip I I know, but I don't do it. I don't know why. You're just leaving the um options menu on the armor and um, purchasable page. That way I can quickly switch in and out. And I see see all this messing about I'm doing here. But yeah, I do actually manage to bring it down to one versus one. So in the meantime, I'm just going to go get the health kit and collect my parts that I've had here um, previously. He knows where I am. I know where he is. And um, so he's hitting the boxes straight away, trying to get as much parts as possible. I do have enough um, weaponry on me, so I don't really need to get to the box. And I do see him on the hearing mode here, so I'm going to sneak up behind him, get my semi-auto rifle, three shots to the back, and wins me the game. So I'm very proud of it, to be honest with you. So please comment, rate, and subscribe. And until next time, take care, stay safe, and I shall see all of you guys later. Bye.